welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, we're in a little bit of a different location today. Hope you don't mind the Disney collection not being behind me, but this was just gonna be easier for me because I am doing a vintage dress try on haul today. And a lot of you may or may not know, but I have chronic fatigue syndrome. So doing a video in one room, the room I normally do my videos in, and then going and doing the try on in another room because that room is not big enough to do like, a full show of what I'm wearing. It's very tiring to do like a two part video like that for me. I hope it's okay, but I thought today we would come downstairs into my sitting room. And yes, this is my sitting room. And we would do the try on haul down here so that I can just talk you through the dresses while I've got them on and you can see all of me because this room is big enough for me to stand back and you see the dresses. So I hope that's okay. Don't worry, I'm not getting rid of the background, the Disney collection, don't worry. So I absolutely adore vintage anything especially the 1940s and 50s i am obsessed i love marilyn monroe particularly she is above my bed i have all of her dvds i say all of our dvds i have all of our movies on dvd and i did actually do a vintage dress lookbook uh, last november i want to say if you wanted to see any other vintage dresses i have in my collection i did a lookbook of five of my dresses last year and that'll be in my lookbook playlist or i'll leave it below if i remember in editing so basically when dressly contacted me and said do you want to do a whole video of some of our items i was like well dressly do a lot of different types of clothes they don't just do vintage clothes but i went on and they have an insane range of vintage dresses so i was like okay we'll tailor this to me let's do a vintage dress haul and yeah they were okay with that they said great pick out some dresses and i did i picked out five dresses so i've got five vintage swing dresses to show you if you can see the tinsel moving or you can hear little feet on the floor the rabbit has joined us today and he's very interested so i haven't got any wiggle dresses which are the bodycon ones they're all swing dresses because it's what i prefer i love swing dresses i wear them for weddings i wear them for day wear like without a petticoat i do want to wear more of them so i want more long sleeve ones like especially with autumn and winter coming up which i've tried to do today i've tried to pick a few with longer sleeves and then some of them i can wear next spring and summer because they are like strappy so i'm really looking forward to showing you what i've picked out i haven't even tried them on yet i've got the first one on now so i'm gonna step back and we're gonna admire these dresses so the rabbit is making quite a lot of noise over there and i don't really want to like stop him doing what he's doing he's a rabbit you can't really tell him the stuff and i don't want to lock him in his cage so if you can't hear things i apologize but he's having the time of his life over there right now so this is the first dress i actually added this waist belt and um, from one of the other dresses because i felt like it needed it so i'll show you what i mean so basically it just had like the yellow here and then the flowery pattern there and then i just added this white one i feel like a white maybe even a black um waist belt like a big one looks nice with this i couldn't find any of my other waist belts so i took one off the other dress so i think that looks okay though so i've put some little round court shoes on i feel like round court shoes look better than pointed court shoes with 50s dresses so i've just got those on just so you can see what it would look like this is the first dress i really really like this dress it is really comfortable i've had it on the whole time i was setting up this room and honestly i will wear this dress i know i will but i will say it is definitely more spring summer so i might not get much use out of it for the next few months because it's literally like autumn now the leaves are turning orange outside i love it um and yeah it's not very wintry i mean you could there's no reason why you couldn't but i do like to see my clothing like color wise to autumn and winter it's just fun to do so I think this is definitely more of a spring summer dress. Okay, so I got this one in a small and I've just checked on my phone because I want to get this right. This one comes in small, medium, large, extra large and double extra large, so double XL. And this is a small. I'm an eight, but it fits really nice. It's like on me, but it's not too tight. It's a stretchy material. It's got a zip up the side. And I find it is very like flattering. It's very nice. This one was seventeen thirty four pounds. So for seventeen quid, like I've got my eye on some vintage dresses that are like over a hundred pound, and most of my vintage dresses I have paid around forty pound for. So this one for seventeen, I'm very happy with this. Like this is a nice dress. Also, I just checked and I put it through the um, checkout to see how much delivery would be. And it said that for 17 to 20 business days was free delivery. And I live in the UK. So 17 pound with free delivery. I am happy. I like this dress. 
Okay, so I've got the next one on. It's a bit creased. They all are, to be honest, because they came in bags, but you know, that's, that's gonna happen, isn't it? And I just haven't had the time to iron it. I didn't realize it was this creased, to be honest. Um, I've left them hanging for a day or two. So yeah, I would obviously iron this if I was going out. But this is the next dress. So this is a small as well. This one is 16.45 pounds. Not even joking. I really like this one. This one I think is appropriate for autumn because it has the longer sleeves and winter, but it's still very me because it's a nice light blue. Um, I was quite experimenting on all the colors on the last one. I don't really normally wear yellow, but I thought it looked nice with the floral and very spring. So yeah, this one's a little bit more me. It's got the stitching up the front, which is just like a little bit of an edge. And then can we just talk about this back? So look at this bow on the back there. Ignore my acne on my back, by the way. I've had acne since I was eight. It ain't going anywhere. Um, but yeah, how nice is this bow? So I'd probably iron that out as well, but it looks really nice. So the only thing I don't like about this dress, if I move my hair, you can see this neckline. I don't really like this. So I, I'm, I apologize, I keep looking up there. So I don't really like this neckline. Um, when I was trying it on, I accidentally had it folded like that. And I think that looks so much better like that. I feel like if you had like a drop necklace on, that would look so much nicer. So yeah, um, I think I will stitch that there and have it that kind of shape. And I just think that looks a lot more like 50s glamorous. That isn't really doing anything when it's that shape. So yeah, I really like this one. I do feel as well, this one could look a little, you could dress it up a little bit more evening with a petticoat, which I have, but I do feel like I would wanna wear this one as daytime or without the petticoat to dress it down a little bit. So I really like this one. Um, this is a size small. It comes in small up to triple XL. So this fits me absolutely perfect. This is really comfy. Again, it's a really stretchy material. And yeah, I really like this one. I'm really happy with this one. I just think it's so cute. It's like really wearable, but really like, I don't know, like glamorous at the same time. Like, uh, I really like this one. So this one was only 16.5, I think. And I really like it. So I'm very happy with this one. <laughs> I apologize if I keep looking up there. My eyes are terrible. So I think for the first, dress i was probably looking up there the whole time so i apologize but uh yeah how nice is that though i really like it i would just change this yeah it's really nice on the arms as well it's like i can move i am comfortable okay so this is the next dress it's a bit shorter than the other ones it's definitely a lot more spring summer so this dress is very bosom-esque it's a very cleavagey dress so i apologize but i am covered um, yeah, so I don't want to come too close to show you the collar because I don't want to put my bosom in your face. Uh, but yeah, so it has this really cute collar. I hope you can see that. It's like a, um, like a shirt collar, but like it's just really cute. So there's that kind of collar there. I do feel like it might need a bit of an iron to keep it down, but it seems to be okay. So that's the collar and it's a halter neck as well. So it goes like that on the back. Got the pink detail in here, a little bow, and then it's got like an under bit. So this one's definitely a lot more spring summer. So you could wear this for like a wedding. I think it's really cute. I was gonna pair this one with a petticoat. I only have a black petticoat. I spent so much money on my black petticoat like probably 10 years ago now when it was harder to get a hold of stuff like that. eBay didn't really exist. Maybe it did, but it wasn't well known, you know what I mean? So I spent so much money on my black petticoat that I wanted to get use out of it. So I never committed to getting another colour petticoat. And there has been times when it's like, I need another colour because the black shows up through a lot of my dresses. So I'll put a petticoat on with this one, but I honestly think it doesn't have enough volume. I don't know if it's just because it's a bit shorter like the other ones. And like I said, if I was going to put a petticoat under this one and wear it for like a wedding, I would wear a white petticoat, a pink one, a lilac one, even a pastel blue. But probably white is going to go with more, so I do need a white petticoat in my life. But I'm going to put the black one on, but you'll be able to see it through a lot. So we'll try out a petticoat with this dress, because this is the one I would wear a petticoat with, like for a wedding or something. So that's the dress with the petticoat. I don't have a mirror down here, so I hope that looks okay. But that is the dress with the petticoat. Like I said, it's a black one. It does actually, it's actually the right size for my petticoat. I'm surprised it looked like it wouldn't be enough, but it is actually the right size. Um, my petticoat's always been a tiny little bit longer at the back and I don't know why, it's really annoying. So this is a hell bunny petticoat if anyone's wondering, um, but you can get petticoats 
on eBay, anywhere, just, I don't know, anywhere. <laughs> but I need another one. Um, yeah, this one, it looks okay with the black, you know? But I would definitely want a white or a pink petticoat with this dress. But it actually looks really nice with a petticoat, I really like it. So this dress was 15.57 or 17.57 and it came in small to double XL and I got small. So it is quite bosom-esque um, I'd definitely wear this one in the spring or summer um, or for a wedding or something. Um, it's just, it is the colours, the, the style, it's very warmer weather. I would be tempted to wear it on holiday without the petticoat though if I was going to go abroad somewhere hot. But yeah, this is definitely more of a spring, summer um, event kind of dress. But I really, really like it. It fits really nice. And I'm very impressed so far. We haven't had any bad dresses. So let's go on to number four. So this is the next dress. I feel like this one is definitely the least 50s. Just because of the neck. I don't know. I feel like if this was true 50s, this bit wouldn't be here. And it would just go off and it would be a bit more pointed. But it's still 50s, um, it was in the vintage dress section and I do still see it as 50s, it's more of a casual like summer day dress. Um, so I absolutely love the colour to start with. This one is a small, uh, it goes up to double XL. This one is the tightest of them all. Uh, this is the belt that I stole that I put on the first dress. So this is where the belt came from. So this one comes with a little belt. This one you can see around my ribs, I mean I don't know if you can, but it's very tight. I can breathe and I could wear it, but if I tried it on in the shop, I would have got a medium. So if you do get this one, I would probably recommend sizing up. It's very stretchy material again, but this one's just a bit smaller fitting. So I love the detail on the buttons. It's got like pink and white buttons. Then it's got like the straps and it's like off the shoulder. So can you see that? Now this one's so tight that I can't fasten it up the back, but not because it won't fasten up because it needs someone to pull the top and then pull it up and I can't do that on my own. So it would fasten up but it is very tight. So that's as far as I could reach to fasten it up. But um, it's not that it wouldn't fasten up and it's not that I won't wear it. I really like it. Um, I don't think you need a petticoat with this one. I think it's quite thin actually. It's probably the thinnest out of all of them. I think it's the shortest out of all of them as well. I didn't, I didn't shave my legs or tan or anything like that. So excuse whatever state my legs look like. Um, but I do like this one. It's really pretty. It's the most expensive out of all of them that I chose. It's 21.52 and it comes from small to double XL. So this one's a small. Like I said though, if I'd known, I probably would have got a medium, but I really like this one. So this is the last dress. I'm very into my colors and all of the other dresses have been like light blues, pinks, uh, light blue and pink. The first one was a bit brave for me with the yellow, but I really liked how vintage it looked. It looked very, Vintage like spring with like the yellow and the flowers. Not my usual, but I actually really liked it on and I'll wear it. There's a colour that I wear on my lips all the time, but I never wear it. Red. I never wear red. I don't know why. I just don't think I suit it. And especially with me having pink hair, off oh, now. Um, I just don't wear red. So I thought I'm gonna go out of my comfort zone and I'm gonna get a red dress because when I think of the 50s, I think of red. I think it was a very glamorous colour. Um, Malama Raw, you think of red, like red lips, blonde hair, red dress. Apart from the white dress, the famous white scene. So I thought I'd go out of my comfort zone and I thought this one would be very autumn-y because it's red. So like autumn, I like burgundy, but I just don't really normally go for red. And I already have a burgundy vintage 50s dress. So I thought I'm gonna go for red and black and this is it. I adore the colour, so I'm going to come up close and show you this colour. So this kind of colour, when it's like up like that, is very structured 50s. I adore it. So it came with a belt, which is kind of sticking out because of the way it was bent in the packet. So I'd probably bobby pin that down. I absolutely adore. This is the type of vintage dresses I love, when they are structured, like three quarter sleeves, and then I love it when they come out a little bit more than this one. This one is a little bit smaller on the end. Um, I think what it is, is that it actually lifts and it wraps round, if that makes sense, rather than just being one big dress. I want them to be structured, in, and then pew. So I'm gonna try the petticoat on with this because I absolutely love this one. I'm still a bit kind of like, I will wear it, but if it was like pink, 
Oh, but you know what it is? It's like when you think of 50s colours, it was very like red and emerald green and navy blue. Um, in my eyes, anyway, that's when I'm thinking of dresses that I watch in 50s movies, like How to Marry a Millionaire. I absolutely adore that movie so much. I might watch it later. But um, yeah, I just. I just don't know how, I'm not very emerald green, navy blue, red myself, even though I like burgundy, um, but this is very 50s. I just can't imagine what other colour it would, could be and be this 50s and me still really like it. I don't know. I really, really like it though. I'll have to be brave and see if I can wear red. Okay, so I took the belt off and put the petticoat on, but honestly, there's not enough material. It looks, <laughs> it looks ridiculous. My petticoat's definitely different sizes on different bits. I don't know why, because it was blue and expensive. It's not got enough material. It's a shame. I feel like this shape up top should have like full on pew and just, I don't know, um, maybe a less full petticoat, but it's weird. I'm not sure if I like it without the petticoat. But I, and I feel like it needs a petticoat, but it's not big enough for a petticoat. Um, I don't know, maybe once it, it has like a bit of an iron, and like settles into its ways and um, it will definitely get worn over autumn and winter i feel like it's a very wearable dress if you want to look a little bit more dressed up than just day wear if that makes sense so this one was 1972 i want to say this is a small and it came in small to double xl and it comes with this belt as well so that was all five dresses i have a discount code as well if any of you guys want to get yourself anything from their site not just vintage dresses but i do recommend going and checking out the vintage dresses because as you can see i genuinely do love them i really really feel fortunate to have been able to pick out these dresses and receive them and now i have five vintage dresses to add to my collection and i'm really happy because i genuinely love them all and i will wear them all so yeah go check out dressily.com if you are interested in any of their vintage dresses i'll leave the links below to all of the dresses that i've tried on today and the discount code in case you forget it i hope this video was helpful i hope you had fun i really enjoyed doing this video let me know if you want to see more types of try on videos like this or if you would prefer me to stay up in the room where you can see the disney collection behind me thanks for watching guys give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!